Well, the UN says that without an urgent delivery of fuel, it will have to scale back its relief work in the Gaza Strip from tonight. The Israeli government is blocking deliveries, claiming that Hamas has been stockpiling fuel in the territory. Well, earlier I spoke to Julia Tuma, who's director of communications for the UN relief agency operating inside the Gaza Strip. I asked her if there was a danger that her whole organization would have to pull out. Well, so far we have not received any fuel. We were hopeful to receive fuel today, but we have not received any fuel. We're not pulling out. Bye-bye. That's not what we said. What we said is that if we do not get fuel into the Gaza Strip, UNRWA, which is the largest humanitarian actor in the Gaza Strip, will be forced to reduce its humanitarian operations and response across the Gaza Strip and in some cases completely bring it to a halt. And what does that mean exactly? Well, it's very simple because if we don't have fuel, we're not able to drive the UN cars uh, to bring in assistance to people. We're not able to take our trucks and go to the borders and pick up the very little supplies that are coming uh, with, uh, with some life-saving um, humanitarian assistance. We're not able to drive wheat flour to the bakeries across the Gaza Strip, so there won't be bread anymore for the, um, for the communities there. Water pumping station will stop working because there is no fuel. Medical facilities that UNRWA runs uh, will not be able to uh, provide health care to women and men, and including pregnant women, by the way. Now, one of the reasons why the Israelis are saying that you're not getting your fuel is, you know, they're blocking the fuel at the border. And they're saying it's because Hamas is stealing the fuel. And they're basing this to some extent on a tweet sent by UNRWA on the 16th, your organization, on the 16th of October. And the tweet read something like, men purporting to be from the Gaza Ministry of Health removed fuel and medicines. And the Israelis are saying that these were Hamas men. And the tweet was then taken down by your organization a few hours later. So can you just clarify what actually went on there? Let me confirm that there was no looting whatsoever in any of our facilities, including the warehouses. There was no looting. The tweet was based on reports that UNRWA was not able to verify. And when we verified the information, we issued a clarification to say that there was no looting in our warehouses. From your point of view, UNRWA, is there anything do you think that could be done to reassure all sides that any fuel shipments into Gaza are not ending up in the wrong hands? We are a humanitarian neutral organization. What we aim to do and what we will do and what we have been doing is to deliver humanitarian assistance to people in need. We need fuel as UNRWA. UNRWA will be using that fuel. And finally, if this is not resolved, this fuel issue, I mean, how dire will the situation look in a few days from now? Perhaps even hours? I'm not sure I can do any justice to what it could look like because it's already terrible. It's already hit rock bottom. We already lost so many staff members and, and colleagues, 38 of them, that we mourn and we grieve. I don't know how it could become even worse than the hellhole that Gaza has become. Julia Tuma, thank you very much indeed.